Hello everyone, welcome to the TSS. In this class, we are going to discuss about do while loop, friends. So, what do while loop will do is the block of code will be executed once, no matter whether the condition is true or false. The block of code will be executed, always executed, at least once, and then the condition will be evaluated. If the condition is true, then loop continues as long as the specified condition is true, right? Here, see the syntax part, do, and then we will start the block of statements, and then we will check the condition. So, actually, we will place the condition at the end of the block, like this, while condition, and then the next statements will go. Okay, this is the format of do while statement, friends. So, and it is called as exit controlled right so because the condition is placed at the end part of the block statements that's why this block of statements will execute once then the condition will check it. okay so it is for that reason it is called as exit controlled whereas for and while loop is entry controlled so at the entering itself we will check for the condition so, if the condition is true, then only we permit the control to execute the block of statements. So, that is the reason why for and while loop is called entry control loop. In At the entrance itself, we are controlling the program execution, uh, whether to execute the block of code or not, at the entry itself. But in the do while loop, the controlling is where we have placed at the end. That's why it is exit controlled loop. Okay, let's discuss about it. So the same numbers, numbers from 1 to 10, 0 to 10. It was the same where i is equal to 0. This is the initialization. And then do the block opened. This is the statements. Here itself we need to place increment or decrement operator also and then at the end of the code block we need to specify the condition right so after that the next statements okay so let us uh, analyze this flow chart for do while loop the execution comes like this and uh, the statement body will be executed first the statement body will be executed no matter whether the condition is true or false because do it will do it okay no matter whether the condition is false or true right first it will be executed once then the condition will be checked and if the condition is true then it will again control goes again here and the black of statement will be executed like this the statements uh, loop body will be executed and then it will go for evaluation of this condition if it is true then it will come back and execute the body of statements like this process goes on and on and on until this condition falls if the condition is false then it will stop going again to uh, execute the block of statements and it will come out of this loop and execute the next statements friends okay so that is the mechanism let's demonstrate the do while loop do while dot js okay do while dot js I have taken the new file uh, say where i is equal to 0 and then do we need to open the code block and console dot log of what of i right of i then we need to provide the increment operator then we had placed the while at the end of the code block uh, the condition is i less than or equal to 10 okay so let us analyze it where i is equal to 0 means i is initialized to 0 do so this code will be executed console dot log i means 0 will be printed to the console and then i is incremented once after that the condition will be checked here okay so this will be always executed at least once uh, no matter the condition is true or false 
so after reaching here i is checked with 10 at that time i is holding 0 so 0 is less than is equal to 10 yes it is true then the program control goes again to the block and it will execute these two lines of code and then it will check this time the i is 1 1 is less than or equal to 10 yes then again it will go and perform execution of these two lines of code then it will come and check uh, so until the uh, this expression will become false uh, it will execute the code provided loops through the code provided inside the block so after the execution after this condition become false the execution control comes out of that loop and then it will execute goes on executing next statements numbers printed right okay so this is the logic uh, let me clear it clear it node space do while dot js here you can see uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay 9 10 right so to for uh, giving the demo it will be at least one time it will be printed uh, let me uh, take it as um, i is greater than 10 okay so now the i is 0 and then it will be executed this two bit of code no matter the condition is true or false actually first time itself i is equal to 0 i is greater than 10 means it is false okay so even though it is false this two code will be always executed let us see it save the file execute it here you can see zero okay so it is initialized and now it come to the code block it executed this bit of code that is at that point of time i is holding zero value so zero is printed and then i is incremented then the this is i value is then checked with 10 that time i is 1 1 is greater than 10 no false so that's why the program control doesn't go inside the code block right it will come out of the loop to print the next statement okay so no matter uh, whether the condition is true or false these do block will be always executed once okay so that is why it is called as exit controlled right so this is the mechanism of do while loop friends in the next classes with this class the javascript loops has completed and in the next class we will discuss about the functions interesting topic functions friends till then bye bye your Svira signing off thank you for listening friends